So one of the effective ways we found to roll training out within a city or a church or a network is aimed at forming a team or a coalition of teams that can do the work. And uh, so this is the Four Fields training rollout that we've been uh, having some success with. That um, it's, it's a combination of both event trainings and weekly rollouts in 12-week cycles. And I would say the strength of the event training is it allows us to find people and give them some tools that they need um, to either get started or with coaching uh, and leadership development. And the strength of the, of, of the weekly training is that we can see week to week, month to month, people are actually doing the work. They're doing it in community. And so it's possible to do it with just a, a weekly uh, roll out um, if needed, but we found that the combination of event training with the weekly um, afterwards is is very catalytic. So uh, in our case, we'd come in and we'd do a vision with a leader. We're looking for uh, churches or our leaders who have a, a God-sized vision that's bigger than themselves. They're broken for lostness in their community, and they're asking for help. And then we'll typically set up a time to meet, to cast a vision, and, and then this is what the training rollout looks like. We'll do a, an event training. Many are calling this a gospel conversations, which is just simply giving them the tools they need to be with some vision, um, how to share the gospel, how to begin discipling somebody. And so this is anywhere from four to eight hours, depending on if you include harvest time or not, followed up by... Uh, uh, the first 12-week rollout of uh, what we're using is the 411 plus the commands of Christ. Um, so, um, and we would come in as a swarm team, which means multiple people coming in, and most of them on their own dime, just to model this training, which means 100% of the trainers are from the outside, and the locals will watch to learn. And then, um, then the second, uh, again, we come back and we do another round of, of gospel conversations, training, and uh, an event. And, um, but this time, we will assist. So the outside trainers will be half or less of the training and the locals will do half or more of the training, just trying to hand over as much authority and responsibility to locals as possible. And the key people to help with this training would be the ones who actually did the weekly uh, rollout here afterwards. Then we'll do another 12 weeks cycle where they're going through the 411 and the commands of Christ and we would highly recommend that by this point, they're also going out in the harvest on a weekly basis, just following that, that weekly rhythm of a team. And, uh, and then the third touch of training, again, we come back and do another round of gospel conversations. And again, this is the same training each time, very similar schedule each time. But this time, it is going to be a watch so we're watching them lead the training. So the outside trainers are doing zero. The local trainers are doing 100% of the training. And, um, and we'll have a practice ahead of time, each of these, just so you know. So people are, um, you know, they are uh, you know, getting equipped. And they're competent and competent to lead um, ahead of time. But after this gospel conversations training, we, you have filtered and formed the team, the catalytic team. And um, they've not only got the vision and the passion, but now they've got the skills to do the work and to train others, you know, in their city or other cities. They can be part of these swarm teams. And uh, we would ask them to set God-sized goals for gospeling and training of others over the next 12 weeks. And, uh, and just, to, just to run the play. And then when we come back this next time, uh, we're doing what we're calling a four fields intensive training. 
And uh, the four fields intensive training is really to, uh, to fortify best principles. So we would say this right here is giving them best practice tools that they need um, to really um, pray for lostness, engage lostness, make disciples. Um, and this gives best principles. So we're really aimed at uh, digging the process out of the gospel, out of Acts. This is anywhere from three to four days. Um, and uh, if it's for aimed at bivocational people, recommended to do it on the weekend. If you're aiming it at, at a pastors and churches, recommend to do it during the week. Um, but the purpose of this is to, is to really grab hold of the scriptures and dig this process out of the gospels, out of Acts. Um, we begin to show them from the epistles. Uh, we also give some leadership development tools to set, set them up for some coaching and some problem solving. And, and they'll leave this here with a plan that they're running. Here's they're setting some God-sized goals here. They'll have a clear plan that they're running. And then another tw roughly 12-week cycle, and we would have them come back uh, for the next training, which we're calling a mid-level training. And the mid-level training is really to help with your problem solving. Um, we use a tool called the iron on iron, which is uh, they've identified stuckages or barriers they have, and together they're coming up with solutions to help them get unstuck. And um, this is anywhere from two to three days. And so after that, we typically have got a, a coalition of teams within a city or an area and a clearly defined leadership. And, and uh, this is where we, we just move, continue on with, with the coaching and mentoring of the key leaders. And they carry that out with their local uh, teams in the coalition. And uh, we're finding that this is, this is happening a lot of times where they're gathering other city leaders together on a, on a regular call, either weekly or every few weeks, um, just to continue to dig into the scriptures and, and encourage each other and get unstuck. So this is what we're finding to be a, a, uh, an effective way to roll out training within a church or a network or a city um, that uh, forms teams that can train and do the work themselves They've got a plan. They've got the coaching and mentoring. And as you can see, this can happen within a one-year period. This is how we're rolling out four fields trainings.